everybody, it's Dean Etheridge, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the new Monstroid theme that's located over at Template Monster, and it's one of the, the best themes that I've seen, and it's a multi-purpose theme, and if you're not familiar with that, this theme will give you the opportunity to make different designs if you're a web designer or you've got one business or a couple of businesses, you can get a couple of different looks from the theme and it's it's extremely versatile and what you're seeing today from WordPress themes is people want more flexibility a lot more professionalism and you're gonna see in this theme today that the lines are super clean it's one of the best ones I've ever worked with and it's very responsive looks great on a mobile device and it's just a it's just a fantastic theme but I'm gonna walk you through how to do the installs what your options are and what the future options are for getting new updated skins and different looks, different designs on the themes. They're gonna be sending you multiple uh, updates every month. So let's go ahead and do that now. But the theme is, uh, to give you any idea, Template Monster is one of the largest resellers of themes in the world. And their featured theme on the front page is the Monstroid theme, which should say a lot and it comes with a lot it's got an install wizard uh, free lifetime support and updates 23 premium extensions five child themes included and you're going to get 15 different topics each month but i'll show you what that looks like uh, once we get inside but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go out to a website that i'm working on now it's for a graphic designer and as you can see it's very boring i mean it's just a plain wordpress blog and if you have a, a company, you really need to look as professional as possible. It will help increase conversions the better your website looks. And I don't believe in, in hiring a, a designer in 99% of the cases to make custom themes. I think a good looking WordPress theme with some customization is a lot better and can save you a ton of money over hiring a custom designer. This is just my personal opinion, um, but I think you can get a great looking product and save yourself a ton of money so and you may be able to do this yourself but this is one of those things when you're customizing the theme I, I do recommend that you may bring in somebody like myself or another designer that works with WordPress a lot to give it some uh, a different look and feel so it, it has your own identity with it so let's go back out to the theme and we're going to upload that okay and actually what they do is they send a plug-in for this to get you started so we're going to go out and we're going to upload this plugin. Okay, it's a Monstroid Wizard. So we're going to open that up. We're going to install that. Activate the plugin, and this is where kind of all the magic starts to happen. And you'll see that now it's in my plugins. Okay, I'll go to my dashboard, and now I want to install the theme. I've got to put in my activation key, and you'll get this whenever you purchase your theme. I'm going to copy and paste that there. Okay, now this is one of the cool things. Now, if you're looking at the Monstroid theme, you can see all the different options. But for example, uh, there's a, a corporate version, but these are some of the child themes that they're talking about. If you're a photographer, if you do interior design, furniture, education, uh, if you're a financial advisor, this is a great looking theme here. But you can go out to the live demo and get an idea of which particular theme or look that you want to download. And as you can see, it's just, it's really attractive. And this is just one look and feel. Okay, but we're gonna go out and take a look at this these are the particular themes you can see the different demos these are what are, is installed already hey this is great I mean this is one for a preschool let's say good looking colors I made one for uh, my wife at a church recently that one would have been helpful uh, that's a HR theme that's for cheerleaders this for a photographer, again, that's an educational theme. So there's eight. 
and this would make, and I really like this one. I think this is the one I want to use for him. But let's look at that live demo of that one. So I can get an idea of what I want to do for him here. Okay. Notice the angled lines just super sharp. It looks great. It's got the Google Maps down here at the bottom with a big marker. Uh, his phone number calls to action just super, super clean. And when you click on the different pages, you'll see these are just super, super nice. Nice icons here. But that's what I want to do. I want to install that particular theme. Okay, we're going to go out to the Monstroid Wizard. We're going to go out to Tools and then Monstroid Wizard. And we want to install, we've seen the main the main theme, but I want to upload this um, this child theme here. Okay, so I'm going to hit install and it's going to load the Cherry Framework, which is how the Monstroid theme, it's the operating system for the Monstroid theme, but it's downloading the child theme, activating it, installing live chat. This has 23 premium extensions that are, you'd have to pay good money to get these if you were to order them a la carte, but this particular theme comes with them. It's $79 and you've got, I don't know, approximately, right now you've got about 15 different options on themes or 11 at least, and then you're gonna be getting 15 each month. So if you wanna change designs later, you can always do that. But we want to install the, the demo content, okay? So it says import and install content, and we want it to look like this so I want to hit install from cloud and it's got sample data here okay and we're going to hit continue install and now it's downloading pages designs uh, layouts sample layouts you're going to have to adjust some pictures but at the end of the day it looks fantastic from day one you've got a site that you can do something with and just go out on the front page and edit it which I'll show you how we're going to edit that with the MotoPress editor that's very quick and can save you a lot of time and money when it comes to customizing a website. It's importing sample posts, media, pages, tags, categories. All these can be changed, of course. Okay, now let's view our site and see what it looks like. Okay, it's got the angles. This is a little tall and we can customize this later. And I'll show you how we'll do that shortly. But it looks fantastic. I'll go in and change the text here. Again, I'll show you how we can quickly change that with the, the editor. So let's go back and do that now. So what I'll do is I'm gonna hit edit with MotoPress right here. And this is similar to Visual Composer, if you've used that before. But a drag and drop editor today, uh, when you're working with websites, is uh, it's invaluable. Just the plugin alone, the the MotoPress editor is 29 for one one site and you can get a developer's license but as you can see you kind of look you see what the the site looks like from day one okay now I'm gonna click here okay and this title is save money and we clean up we, we came up with a slogan for him that was plan design produce so I'm gonna change that title there And we, we, we can always go back and change these images. You can see this is a link to an image here, this right here, this PNG file. So we can just get the, the new image to put in that. But this is a, uh, it looks great. All I'm gonna really have to do is change the text, okay? But I could change that icon there. It looks like that icon is different, but again, going down here to the rows, and let's save that. Okay, again, I could just change this text. That's another row. This is the subtitle. I can go in and change these graphics. And this is pulling by category, so this is the actual blog. And this, these were the post here, so this is his blog post. And if we wanted to put more blog posts per page, we've got that option. But super easy editor to work with. You can change the background color here, for example. I want to save that because I love the look of it, but if I wanted to make it bluer, I can do that. And I'm back to where I was, but this is what the front page editor looks like. We'll update that. 
And this is what, I mean, if I want to drag a title box in, a title paragraph, let's say I want to put some new text in here. I can type that in there, but you get my point. I'm going to delete that. I just want to keep it the way it is because it looks fantastic, a lot better than I can do. But you can put images just the same way. You can change columns, parallax videos, banners, grid galleries, uh, sharing links, follows, buttons, videos, audio, if you want to put an audio in there. Just a lot of functionality, Google Maps, and it will go the width of the column. But let's update that and let's go in and see what the pages look like in the dashboard. And when I go into pages, you'll see that I've got the blog post page, the home page, and about page. Again, you've got the icons here. We're just going to change out the text. And we'll put his information down here at the bottom. But it's just absolutely beautiful. And go into the post page. And let, let's just show you the editor from, from scratch, okay? Test. Let's just make a test page so I can show you how to work with the editor. Okay, we'll just grab this. Let's make a title box here. And that's just a full row and I can change the style if I want to put a border around it change the size here text color I can change that and we can always change this the style of the font that we want and make that strong if we want I can put an icon in here but see that made another column let's just put an image down below I can set that image but if I want to put another one in You'll see that it automatically makes that in two columns, but my sizing is a little bit off, but we can always go back and fix that. But if I want to change the background color, I can do that simply by pressing this, and I can put different styles in there for the colors, which is great as well. And I can put a slider in there. Anyway, I'm not going to save that, okay? But you get the idea, very easy theme to work with, lots of functionalities. It's, it's downloaded several plugins that I can use. I've got different blog layouts if I want them. But now the Cherry Framework, I want to show you that real quick. This is where you can go in and, and change the favicon, the, uh, the grid, the layouts, responsive. We can do blog, lay, blog post. Just super clean, super easy to work with. I mean, it's just been incredible. Now I can change the color scheme here. Navigation, I can set up mega menus, I can change the font in there, I can change the logo, all the typography, and this one's using Lado for the, the size. It's a little bit big for heading one for my taste, but so I might make that a little bit smaller. I'll save that option. But as you can see, this theme is it's somewhat easy to work on, it's very advanced, but I wouldn't let it intimidate you because you've got support from Template Monster. It's affordable at $79. As you can see, if you're looking for a great looking theme that's got a lot of customization options, uh, lots of power with plugins, this new Monstroid theme is one of the best that I've seen out there. It's, it's really very, very impressive. And you've got the support from Template Monster. I've included a link uh, just down below this video if you'd like to go out and get more information or, or purchase the theme and if you have any questions about it about its functionality please feel free to leave those in the comments but if you're a new person with web design or working with WordPress don't be intimidated by this theme again you do have 24 7 support from template monster they'll answer some questions and help you get it done but it's not very expensive if you want to hire a web designer to make it look exactly like you need it to and you'll save yourself a ton of money over getting or purchasing a completely customized site so i hope you enjoyed this review on the monstroid theme uh, again if you have any questions from me on its functionality please feel free to leave those down in the comments give us a thumbs up if you like this video if you have any suggestions on some other great looking themes that you've worked with or you've got experience working with the cherry framework or the motorpress content editor I'd love to hear from you as well. So thanks for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, everybody.